was really bad some fruits you know this is really amazing this is really amazing 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 this is called the jackfruit guys you know uh, to, we tunataka hiki kitu ifunikwe na hizo vitu you know so you will sasa utachukua hizo zote na zile unaweka hapa ndani na sasa ukifagia una una unaleta hizo hapa here so this one we used to 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 cut the napier but right now it is in it is it is uh, it is not function because it is not functional because there is how Yes, 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 yes. Hello, beautiful people. How are you doing? Hope you're doing good, guys. You know, I was somewhere I was asleep. You know, I've just woken up, and uh, it is uh, around uh, 15:30 p.m. But it was raining, guys. You can see how the environment looks like. It was raining, so I was just taking uh, a sip. You know, <laughs> I was sleeping, guys. I've just woken up, and. Uh, the weather has totally changed and it is very cold guys in the village here so i want to welcome you all guys to this beautiful channel here onga junior and uh, feel most welcome and please feel free to watch the video to the end and also feel free to comment to comment like the video there and also share so guys say uh, today it was uh, on a sunday you know it's a, it's a sunday and we went to church today and we just came back so we were taught a lot of things in church there you no know? we were taught a lot of uh, forgiveness faith having faith forgiveness and uh, and what we are taught that forgiveness is you no know, it's like giving somebody a second chance you know when you forgive when you forgive someone then it is like you've given the person a second chance so we are also reminded during this uh, ramadan you know the muslims are celebrating ramadan and the we are still in the Easter, Easter mood, so please kindly give somebody a second chance, kindly forgive. So I'm just at home here guys, and uh, today, since it has rained too much, uh, since uh, from morning it was raining, and so the animals have not eaten, you know, the cows have not eaten in the village here. So I want today to, today I just want to take, uh, I want to go and take care of the animals they gra to graze to graze and uh, at least they should uh, get some food you know before it trains again so just uh, where i'm standing you can see this a fruit here it's called jackfruit this is called a jackfruit here and you can just see how it has got fruits you know just as the name suggests it's a jackfruit and it has got many fruits here so you can just see the fruits how this one has really bad some fruits you know this is really amazing this is really amazing 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 this is called the jackfruit guys you know uh, actually this one is still not big enough you know this true this fruit here it bears very large they, they always uh, they grow big the fruits itself grow very big for those who have uh, who have tested the jackfruit or for those who have the jackfruit they know the size of the fruit when it is mature so these ones are still young guys but i'm very happy you can see how many the, the, actually this is just a uh, one uh, it's like a, a one branch a one branch but you can see how many the jackfruit it has this one this two this three four five six seven and even the eight there the eight is there and this one is just rotten because i think uh, it is due to too much rain you know when the rain is too much this is how they behave when the rain is too much this is how the fruit behaves so you can see it is still removing so it is still bearing some fruits and there are some also here which are just hidden here which are just hidden here you can see them this one also has really bad too many fruits guys too many fruits too many fruits as you can see the tree itself and this one is a very it's a big one there so there's a big one there which is almost uh, almost uh, maturing you know there is one there which is almost mature you can see it guys there so you know when when you want to know if this fruit is mature it has got a smile i don't know whether it's called a smile or a, a scent you know it has a scent let me say let me see the term scent the scent so it has got a, a, a nice scent 
and they doesn't like for lemon for uh, for the we have the pineapple you know those you know the pineapple the pineapple smell when it is ripe that's exactly how this fruit is it has got uh, very nice smell and uh, you can listen to or you can smell it from a very far distance you know you can listen you can smell it for a, from a very far distance so that's how it is guys that's how the jackfruit is and that's how it always behaves you know it is very funny and a very nice fruit a very nice fruit for those who have never eaten the jackfruit so i want to tell you how the fruit is so inside this fruit here you are seeing here inside this big thing here there are some spots you can see the swollen spots you can see these ones here so when you when it is ripe when it is ripe the whole thing here is not hidden somebody might think maybe you are eating the whole thing here no 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 you don't eat the whole thing here what you wanna eat here you wanna you wanna cut this thing this way you know or this way depending on how you want to cut it there's no best formula there's no formula for cutting it but you can cut it in any way you find it easier to cut it so after cutting it uh, you got they're going some you want to find some uh, some things like uh, i don't know how they are called they're very they're this way in this size here i don't know but uh, some some are this way they're very they're uh, not that small are not that big so in this spot you're seeing here you want to find the stuffs there so those stuffs are what are being hidden the stuffs you find here are what are being eaten you might find uh, there are very many and at times uh, when you are some uh, there's a time also you might uh, you might cut the whole fruit and find nothing inside there don't do happen don't do happen i have experienced such many times you know <laughs> i have really experienced that many times many times many times you cut the fruit but uh, inside there's nothing inside there so that's sometimes it is that way in the village here sometimes it is that way it is that way it is that way so guys uh, you can see this uh, this one is uh, the nameless you know those who have been watching some of the videos they have been doing this animal here is called nameless you know they are twins and this the sister here called blessing somebody gave me a name and uh, for the blessing somebody gave me a name from my youtube community there for my youtube family there there is a my someone of my subscriber who gave me a name and so this one was named blessings you know there are twins guys you can see there are twins here this one is called blessings you know and you can see the stomach is very full it was eating the blessing was eating the napier grass here and uh, you can see the stomach is very full guys the stomach is very full and uh, you can see how it looks like it looks like it is very full it's very full she's very full i mean this name this is called blessing here and uh, the other one is called nameless actually somebody might ask why this animal is called nameless you know i tried looking for a name for this animal here for this cow here for this calf to be specific i tried looking for a name for the calf here but uh, actually i didn't find <laughs> once i had been given a name for the for the for the female one there the cow the blessing there so this one stayed for a very long time without being named so i decided to start this one here nameless here you know the nameless here uh it was a blessing you know guys it was a real blessing in atom atom here we had and since the cow gave birth to, to twins and uh, a boy and a girl <laughs> a bull and a cow you know i'm talking to Ro i'm talking about rose that cow called rose there so she gave birth to two two calves and uh, guys you can see the calf here you can see the calf this one here and the other one there and uh, they have a cow pen there where they can where they always stay they have a cow pen there so that's the mother there the mother is also full the mother is also full guys you can see the mother is also full the mother is also full here you can see the stomach is just okay and right now she's through eating the napier grass and uh, just feeding on the grass so you know this one uh, you can't you are doing what is called zero grazing you do what is called zero grazing for this one here she doesn't live at home she doesn't leave the home compound here she doesn't leave the home compound here because uh, she has got too much food you know the napier grass are too many and so you can see how she's great she's grazing here 
So somebody, so this hole here you are seeing here, I was talking about this other time here, this other time. So you can see the marum there, we took it from this hole here. So the marum there, I'm gonna use uh, to build some house there. The mud house, just took from the marum here. And so again, you know, or uh, maybe somebody might, uh, might say the, the hole looks so scary and big. Yeah, exactly, it looks very big and so scary. But uh, very soon it will be, it will be full. You can see those waste there, those waste from the Napier grass and others are here. So what we want to do here is just to, to bring the, 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 waste, the waste to fill it here in this, uh, in this hole here. So again, when the rain rains, you know, when, the, when it rains, the, all the, the, the water from the rain comes here. And by that, the soil comes up and it fills itself. So very soon, guys, we're going to see this place is very full. And uh, for, for, the, for the waste, I think we can even do it right now so that you can see how it is being done and it will be really very 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 nice really very very nice we tunataka hiki kitu ifunikwe na hizo vitu you know so you will sasa utachukua hizo zote na zile unaweka hapa ndani na sasa ukifagia una una unaleta hizo hapo una zisiba hapa sawa so guys i'm just talking to amos amos do you want to say to these beautiful people you want to say hi hi yeah how are you doing <laughs> so guys, that's our most, that's our most Fanyama here. Our, it's, a, it's one of ours here, it's one of my family here, but uh, let me just say it's one of our helpers in the home here. And uh, we help each other, you know, we help each other doing some other stuff here. So I was just telling him that tomorrow morning when we wake up, since uh, there's nothing that much we want to do tomorrow, so we'll be taking all these stuff here, that plus the other ones there. And I can see others there also, and we will be putting them in this hole here, so that this hole can be filled with those stuff there, and uh, so that it cannot remain this big here and uh, a bit scary. This one even the animal can enter there and uh, can break. The animal can break here. So this rose here, rose, rose, just sitting here, and uh, you know, rose. Uh, this cow is being milked like uh, three times a day, guys. Three times a day. Uh, initially, when the, by the first, was the first time uh, when, when the earliest at the earlier stages when she gave birth, we were not milking it because uh, you know, milking a cow plus you have the two twins, two calves, it is somehow very difficult. So at the first stage of uh, at earlier stages of her giving birth, of her giving birth, uh, we never we were not milking it. You know, we were not milking it because uh, the milk was too much. Yes, but uh, now. We had about uh, two, two, two calves, you no know, there. So the cal the milk we used to make the calf there, and give it to the calf there. The two calves you are seeing there, guys. That's now when. Right now is when we can milk it because the calves are eating, uh, are eating now. They are eating well. So these are just the, the the yams, you know. These are yams. So guys, I told you that, that there's a video I did when I told you that uh, you know you can plant yams, even in your own compound. Yam doesn't necessarily need to grow to grow in a maybe where there is a lot of water or what no. So you can see these are our yams that are doing good here. And here used to be a very big hole here. But we decided to to, to utilize this hole by planting these yams here. And we have harvested these yams like uh, four times now, you know. We have harvested these yams like four times and you can just see we are soon harvesting these ones also. So you can, if you are yams lover, if you love yams, you can try it at home there. You can try it in your home compound. Just make a small hole this way. If you love yams, you can make it, just make a small hole. So once you've made a small hole, you can plant there. And uh, very soon you will be just enjoying, enjoying your yams there. Very soon you will be enjoying your yams there, guys. So this is just a plantation of banana. Guys, it has rained very high. It has really rained in the village here right now and that's why you are seeing me just uh, uh, making a video at home here and just showing you the progress we have in the home here of the fruits and everything here so you can see the bananas here guys these are just bananas and the home compound here and uh, oh this beautiful you can see that beer that big banana there this one goes for around uh, this one goes for around uh, five dollars this one it is five dollars guys the way you are seeing it it is five dollars there that one goes for five dollars and you know these bananas here guys uh, they were planted during corona corona season was 2020 
and we have we have really hidden the bananas here some we have sold and uh, you can see they're still doing good they're still giving birth they're still multiplying the suckers are still coming out and uh, even the fruits themselves they're still doing okay and just where i'm standing here this is a mango tree guys this is a mango tree i just want to show you the fruits at home here this is a mango tree and you can see right now it is not the season for mangoes and uh, we are just sitting the mangoes here we are just sitting these mangoes here some some uh, two months ago that was their season two months ago we ate them some two months ago guys and right now it is not their season so we are eating the mangoes you can see those uh, the, the, the dried spots the dried uh, branches like that's where the mangoes were the fruits you know the mango fruits and uh, since uh, we we had eaten them all so they are no longer they they are regrowing i mean they are now regrowing again <laughs> and if you look at down there you're going to see the avocado plants you know if you look down there you're going to see the avocado plant and uh, another mango is there so at home here we have a lot of fruits guys so if you are a visitor and you want to visit us please kindly come and uh, feel uh, feel most welcome because uh, if you love the uh, the fruits you want to eat the organic fruits there you also have the guava there which uh, right now it is the season it is the season for guavas and uh, we're really enjoying the guavas there so if you are a visitor and you feel like you want to visit us please kindly visit us here kindly visit this village here called uh, rare village you know kindly visit the rare village so that you can enjoy the beautiful things here <laughs> okay guys you can enjoy the beautiful things here, the beautiful fruits the organic purely organic that's from the trees and you, you eat we also have the sugar cane if you love the sugar cane there you're gonna enjoy you're gonna enjoy the sugar cane okay 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 so let me just show you where the cows and the others the cows sleep i mean the cows sleep let me just show you where the cows are sleeping here the cow pen let me just show you how it is so just here just here just here with there are some timbers here you can see the timbers are just all over they were inside this house but they were removed there's something they want to build a structure here they want to build using these timbers here that's why you can see the timbers all over so this is a bowhole here this is a bowhole here guys you can see this is a bowhole you know this is a bowhole here you can see the bowhole here and uh, once uh, you know during uh, when it is raining right like, like like right now the water is almost uh, somehow full let me just open for you guys so that you can see what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about you can see the water it is almost full there and uh, this the this the pail we are using here see the pail here that's the pail we are using to draw water from that bowhole there actually we don't fetch water from the river we don't fetch water from the river and this water is enough to sustain us at home here it is enough to sustain us here so this structure here you are seeing here this is the cow pen where the cows are sleeping there so you can see this uh, you see this one is a hole a small hole here you know let me just show you something here guys this is a small hole see this small hole but right now it is full we'll work on it so we dug this hole here it was a deep hole and uh, uh, at the floor at the floor of the hole we, we put some uh, some small stones you know some small stones here here you're seeing it is full here it is full because it is raining and once it rains it comes with a lot of soil so the reason why we put those that uh, those small stones does because uh, when the animals maybe they the waste they, they, they urinate you know when they urinate inside there it comes down you can see it comes down there and it it uh, it comes to this hole and because you have the small stones down there so this place this uh, hole here can't get full it can't get full this hole can't get full because of the small stones but right now it is raining and the rains come with a lot of the sand and the soil that's why you can see it is full and we will work on it uh, maybe tomorrow or another day let me just show you what's happening inside here guys let me just show you what's happening inside here so this structure here before i get inside there this this, this structure here you should see here this for the pigeon and i have some pigeons here you know i have got some pigeons inside here the structure here is for the pigeon and uh, right now they are around uh, 
you can see them guys you can see the pigeons here right now they are around six the six pigeons you know you can see how it is made you can see how it is made right now there are around six pigeons six or eight there are six i mean there are six there are six pigeons yes right now there are six pigeons you can see them guys so this is the structure for them this is where they sleep here and at night we just close this one this way you see close it this way and uh, during morning we just open it so that's the small door and for the big door it is this one here use this one here which of course it is being locked so the, the predators can't get inside there okay so let me just tell you something inside here you know so this is now the cow pen guys this is now the cow pen and uh, you can see how it looks like this is the cow this is now the cow pen guys you can see how it looks like so you can see there are many dots here like there are four places where they sleep one two three four one two three four one two three four okay maybe somebody might ask that four but uh, we only have uh, we only have three animals so you know the rose rose sleeps here yes where rose sleeps at this end here yes where rose sleeps yes where blessing sleeps here and uh, nameless sleeps here you see so now there are three at this point is where we milk crows you know at this point is where we milk crows and you know the funny thing with rose uh, you can't milk crows a place which is not the milking place like you can't milk cross there or you can't milk cross here she won't agree she will just walk and come here and uh, yes why well, she will be milked at this point you're seeing here so I will, she will be milked so this is a bulb this is a bulb uh, this is a bulb for uh, and being milk or at night this is a bulb there so behind me here or just right in front of me here is a, a chafkata those who understand those who know chafkatas this is a chafkata here so this one we used to 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 cut the napier but right now it is in it is it is a uh, it is not function because it's not functional because there is how that uh, engine is not it is it is faulty the engine here is faulty here and you guys you know everything is just all about engine the engine is all about everything that engine jumped anything cannot work so this is the engine here this is the engine here and uh, this one is the the you can see this wire mesh here the wire mesh here is what prevents uh, when you are cutting the chaff you know from from uh, coming out and we also have the blades you can see the blades you know the blades are this one here let me just turn around so that you can see the blades here okay this is really beautiful this making what easier so these are the blades guys you can see the blades are here these are the blades so when one once the engine and this is the the rope you know the rope here this one is the rope connecting the engine and uh, this one here the blade here so once you have started your engine it moves the engine moves and the blades move this 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 thing here moves and the blades move and you put your your napier here you put your napier here you see this point here yes where you put your napier napier grass you know and uh, this is what we use uh, we put it this way let me just show you something <clears throat> you know i'm a farmer guys i'm a farmer so you put it this way you know you put it this way oh, oh my god it's very heavy so you put it this way you see you put it this way here and you put your put your napier from this point here it goes there and uh, it enters you know then it moves around as it moves around the napier also moves and they're being cut they're being cut into smaller pieces you know into smaller pieces there so right now it is not functional because uh, the engine is not in good shape the engine is not in good shape and we have tried looking for the for the mechanic but uh, still not able to make it that's the that's the challenge you are having here still not able to make it and uh here guys here where the the bulls are sleeping you know that's where the bulls are sleeping one sleeps here and the other one sleeps there that's where the bulls are sleeping 
that's where the bulls are sleeping here this place here that's where the bulls are sleeping and i can see some of the pigeons are just up there they're resting on top of that uh, you can see them guys you can see that pigeon there wow these ones are just bought yes these are new pigeons you know and they are still not used to the other ones so you can just see them and uh, these ones are male one you know these are male pigeons there are two of them there are two of them you can see them so here we also have the plow the plow is also here the plow you can see the plow so those are the pigeons those who love the pigeons guys can you just leave in a comment there tell me if you're a pigeon lover do you love pigeons me i love pigeons you know i love pigeons there's a time i had pigeons up to 100 100 pigeons there's a time I had up to a hundred pigeons. Okay, fine. Hello, this one is the. You see this one here is the. This is now the the plow. You know the plow. The plow. This is now the plow here. And this is what we are using here to to prepare our land. You know. This is what we are using to prepare our lands in the in atom here. If you don't have the, if you don't have the cash enough cash to hire a tractor, I can. If you don't have enough cash to hire a tractor to plow for you, you will use your bulls. So this is what we use for the bulls. And uh, we have the also the the, cho the, the yolk. The yolk. Oh, so I can't see the yolk here. I can't see the yolk here. But this one is not functional. This one is not. This one is uh, a waste. This one is an old one. An old yolk, this one here. So I can't see the one you are using for plowing. I can't see it here. I don't know why it is. But this one is the old one. So this even now you tie it there, you tie it up here and it's being pulled. So as they pull it, as they pull it, it moves and uh, you can easily plow. You can easily plow. So guys, uh, that's how I'm just, uh, just uh, that's my weekend, my Sunday here at home here. Just at home. With the too much rain, you know, the rain is too much. The rain is too much, guys. But uh, we thank the Lord because it is a blessing to us, you know. It is a blessing to us all. The rain is a blessing to us, and uh, we can't cry. You only have to give thanks. You only have to give thanks, guys. You know, those, these pigeons like fighting too much. Since uh, so they are fighting. <laughs> so you can see them fighting guys. Okay, you know there are, there are some visitors. There are some we are visitors here. The ones I brought yesterday. The ones I brought yesterday. So they are fighting there. They are fighting the ones they have just found in their home. That's being too. <laughs> you know you intrude in other people's home and you start fighting them. That's very bad of them, but that's uh, that's life. That's life, guys. That's real, real life. That's how it is in the village here. And even with the even with the animals, you know, when a new person has come in the village, you can't just sit. Uh, for especially for the bull, if you buy a new bull, and maybe you had a bull there, the 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 older bull will start, will will try to fight the new bull because uh, they need that leadership, you know. Everyone want to be a leader. Same applies to those birds there. Same applies to those birds. And that's how it is. That's how it is. It is what it is. They say it is what it is. It is what it is. Guys, you can just have a view of our village when it has rained. You know, it has just stopped raining right now. And you can see how the, the, the village is cool. This guava, guys. <laughs> I'm addicted to guavas, you know. I eat guavas even after the rains. I still eat guavas. Guys, you can just see how the environment is very cool. The cool environment, the clouds make it now look more beautiful. And the trees, the plants, 
the sugar cane around here. Wow. You guys should just come and visit us in the village here. And see the amazing stuff here. You know? This village is very good, guys. Very cool. Hmm. So you know this this place we dug here yesterday because uh, you can see down here there's a plantation of maize or the corn. So when it rained too much, when it rained because it is raining too much, when it rained, you find that there's a lot of erosion taking place in the garden here, and a lot of soil is being swept away. So because uh, the maize are too weak to hold the soil, what do, what we do? We divert this uh, water here into the sugarcane plantation there because sugarcane is uh, there's they have got strong roots, no? The sugarcane have got strong roots and they can uh, the strong roots, I mean, and they can hold the water. And like the like the maize, you know, the maize are very weak, so they were being swept away. I can even see the these ones are being swept away. You can see this one here, like that one that has been swept away by the by the water so we wanted this water to go this way you know to go this way here there's a way we had made for it going this way we wanted that one to go that way guys you can see how this sugar cane looks like it's really beautiful and uh to me this is the best place to be this is the best place to be guys so I welcome you all to this beautiful village here, which looks like a Jamaica. The Jamaica is known for its greenness, you know, the nature. Jam Jamaica people know, uh, me I know, but me personally I know but ja Jamaica with the green, the green nature. It's green nature, you know, it is green everywhere. So if you want to visit Jamaica, instead of going to Jamaica, kindly just come here in the village here and experience the the full nature, you know, you come and interact with the nature. Just come and interact with the nature in our village here. Down there, those are just some of the fruits, which, uh, the the bananas there. You can just have a view and leave your comment there, guys. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, what's your view on this beautiful village here? Let us just have a walk this way. Let us just have a walk this way and see, just see how our village looks like. And uh, this is just the village view after the rain. Off grid, you know. 100% <laughs> off grid. So you can see how it looks like, guys. How it looks like. I'm just worrying, worrying, walking, walking in my in our village here after the rain. And uh, my village goes to the wall, you know. <laughs> Right now the village goes to the world, to the entire world, because it is being watched from from different places from abroad, you know. So guys, you can leave your comments. See this maze here, yeah? see how they are doing? They are doing okay. The cons are doing really, really, really good here. They are really doing amazing. <laughs> and I love this. Actually, you know, some things just need pure work, you know, you need to do pure work. Like if you want to if you want to start farming, it is not something easy. It needs commitment and pure work. Farming needs commitment and pure work. I tell you guys, if you see somebody has planted a sugar cane this way, some people start and leave it and come and uh, and ended. You know, they start planting sugar cane and uh, maybe they leave it. They leave. Uh, they don't weed it. They don't uh, put manure. So it is something very difficult. It is not easy. It is not easy, and you know sugarcane plantation or sugarcane they need uh, that close attention, especially when they are still young like these ones here. So you need to weed them more frequently. You need to weed them more frequently. You know, you don't have to because the moment you you stay without weeding them, the weed the weeds might uh, overtake the plant, and uh, in the long run you will have nothing. We love nothing. So it is a good investment, but it needs a lot of commitment, you know. 
it needs a lot of commitment it is a good investment and it has got enough money good money but uh, you have to dedicate your time to it and some good resources on this one here you need to do some good you need to invest good good time you need to invest your good time here you also need to you also need to invest capital in capital your capital must be good because you can't invest without capital so guys you can just have a view of this village here and uh, this is just the amazing part of it you know the amazing part of it this is the amazing part of it so that's my dog there